when we traded now when we were trading here's the thing when we were trading we were trading together on one account like it's more like we were analyzing together like this is what we need to do and back and forth you know we were doing it together at that time so we've managed to make 80,000 in three days from 5,000 rands. After that, we withdrew, we, we, we withdrew everything. After that, we withdrawn everything. And then we went straight to the finisher shop when the money got in. The money took about five working days, I think. When the money got in, we went to the finisher shop. We bought full finisher for our home. We bought full finisher for our home. Everything was proper. Now we are having finisher. Now, when I want to get laid, at least I will get laid on a bed, you know. That is why today when people are talking nonsense about me, I, I'm, I always get angry. It's because they have no idea of the details, the detailing, what I've been through, you know. So after that, that small house became a home. Now, I don't know how to cook. Uh, Kuto knew how to cook. Fosh loved cooking. So we've had an arrangement that I will wash dishes, uh, Kuto will clean the house, and then Fosh will cook. So keep in mind, our duties at that time, I will wash the dishes, coach, washing dishes, Fosh will cook, and Kuto will clean the house. So daily duties, breakfast, everything, Fosh, cleaning, it was me, I mean cleaning, it was Kuto, Washing dishes, everything, it was me. Today, today as we speak, today, right now as we speak, I've got a private chef. If you think I'm bragging, uh, you are not worth it. Trust me, uh, you are not worth it. I have a private chef today as we speak. I have an auntie. She washes, she washes all my clothes. She cleans the house. I've got a garden boy. Uh, luckily, chef washes dishes at the same time. So if not, I was going to hire somebody who was going to wash dishes. And then after that, I have a personal driver. A personal driver simply means that somebody who is personally assigned to me. Today as we speak. Right now, that's still some. I see people saying coach is broke. I just look at them. Coach is broke. That garden boy who's working for me right now is your boyfriend. You are busy on social media. FBK is broke. I just look at you. And I'm like, oh my God. May the Lord bless you. Y you see, there are certain people who will say, this guy is bragging. I don't care about you. But hustlers will get my point that I used to be this person before. Now I'm this person. You understand? You, you, you'll get to, to understand my story, my journey. If you think I'm, 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 I'm bragging, yes, I'm bragging. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm bragging. But one thing you need to remember, you are not worth it. You are not, you are not worth me bragging to you, who the fuck are you? Umangweni. Who the, who are you? Let's start there. It's because most people think they most people love making themselves special in other people's lives. You can't just find me on social media and think that everything that I do, I do it based on you. Everything that I say, I say it based on you. Eh? But home. I'm doing this for me, not you. How? Now, the routine was lovely. Um, I would, I would sometimes, uh, I wouldn't have money. Sometimes I wouldn't have money to go to the mall. Like going to the mall was about ten rents. I wouldn't have ten rents to go to the mall. Ne? Uh, would walk to Social Gove Crossing Mall. Would walk to Social Gove Crossing Mall. But now the difference was that. Uh, we are working to Social Gove Crossing Mall, but we have a home. You understand? We have a home. We have we have a home. We have a place we call home. And my parents had to hear from people on social media that your son has his own own home right now. 
And then they called me. They were like, why didn't you tell us that you have a, you have a home now? And I'm like, I came home to tell you that we are going to be getting a house and you, you, you were fighting me. So I've decided to keep my things to me. So if you don't support me in my, my journey, you will hear from people what I've achieved. You know, it's fine. So we used to walk to crossing because we didn't have money for, for, for a venture. That was 2017, uh, around May, 2017, around May. And here's the thing. People should understand that in my life, here's the truth. In my life, I've went broke many times, countless times, countless times. I've literally went broke. Even right now, as I'm talking to you, you might find that I'm broke. But you can't tell the difference when I have money and when I'm broke. Because if you are telling me that I'm broke, ne? tomorrow, I'm going to ask you, what is your dream car? You are telling me that it's an M4. And I'm going to ask you another question. What is your 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 your, your second dream car? You are telling me that it's a G63. Tomorrow I can go buy those cars. It's unfortunate that I already have them. So I've went broke several times, right? And I'm still gonna go broke. But there's a huge difference, you know. Me being broke at that time, at least I've had a home. At least I've had uh, money in my trading account. I just didn't have money to do certain things at that time, you know. And around that process, around uh, that process of April and so forth, I've, I've decided uh, to, to get into a relationship, right? You see, me and relationships, hey, we, have, we are always like this. And it's like, nah, I deserve to get married, and it's like I deserve to get married. Pila pila. Hey, hey, me and relationships. So, same WhatsApp group. So, in 2017, I decided uh, around April, I decided to get into a relationship. Keep in mind, uh, that girl who had me in 2017, who came back in my life, uh, she was seeing that I'm drifting apart, she's losing me and so forth you know and i've told her one thing i said baby girl i i can't do this anymore right just before i went into a, a, a relationship at that time um i can't do this anymore uh, because i feel like i haven't healed i haven't really healed from what you did you what you did to me you know but i've forgiven you meaning that i i don't i don't hold a grudge against what happened you know I've, I've forgiven you but i feel like we cannot continue being in a relationship in my head at that time it's because i've seen better out there you see men, men are trash it's true Guys, it's true. Men are trash. I've seen it with me. I've seen some some better things out there, you know? And I wanted to taste different things. You see, it's because of this. Every day at that time, when I was poor, I was eating cabbage. Every day, cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. Cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. Eating the same thing over and over. Then sometimes that cabbage doesn't want to be eaten. Now I'm not eating anything. It's, 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 it's life, unfortunately. So I told her that uh, I'm, I'm, this relationship is not working. Let's just end it. Then she said, no, we are not ending it. I, 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 I can't live my life without you. It will never be the same. And I'm like, okay, baby girl, um, here's what we can do, right? What we can do is that we can be friends right we can be friends and when we are friends if you need a dick you just tell me i will give it to you baby girl but we are not in a relationship <laughs> i 
Men are trash. <laughs> Yo. So, uh, she she said, um, I will think about it, but I don't like it. I'm like, no, don't worry. I won't be in a relationship. It's just that I'm not in a good space to be in a relationship right now, you know? Uh, so, we've reached an agreement that, you know what? You and I, are, we are, we are, remember this person is my ex. So-called love of my life. Imagine making your ex, hey, I don't know how to put this, but yeah, we, 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 we had an agreement that, baby girl, you see, I can't be in a relationship with you, but if you, you want a dick, just tell me. So precisely, I would say it was friends with benefits. Imagine having friends with benefits with your ex. How dangerous that is. It's very dangerous because you have had that person fully before, but you've lost them. Now, the only thing you could be is friends with benefits. You know, that didn't sit uh, well with her, but I didn't care at that time. It was an offer. It's either she takes it or she leaves it. That's it. I mean, I'm in charge. As Julius says, I'm in charge. I was in charge that time. She was a small girl. There was nothing she can do. I was in charge. She was a small girl. She agreed that, okay, fine. We'll, 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 we'll do this friends with benefits thing. And I told her that, baby girl, I've promised you things back in 2015, 2016. I've promised you uh, gifts. I've promised you cell phones, clothes. You know, this, this, this girls, these things girls love. The little things. Okay, it might be big things to people who don't have money, but to me, it's always little things. Phones, clothes, and all that. So I've promised her that before when I had nothing. So I told her that, you see, baby girl, now I have it all. I will give you anything that you need. Everything that I've promised you in the past, I will give it to you right now. And then she was happy, you know. And I told her that, baby girl, if you want to have a boyfriend, you are more than allowed to have a boyfriend. That's how much I didn't care anymore. I, I didn't care whether she had a boyfriend or not. What I cared about was the guilt you know the guilt of having to spend your life with this person and now you make it and you don't want them anymore and you feel like you just have to keep them you just have to do them a favor by just keeping them so i i did that men are trash people i was that i was like that so we had that agreement so she would test me and say Ish, um, I don't have clothes to go to school anymore. And I'm like, where are you? She's like, I'm at the campus. And then I would catch a venture. Keep in mind, I don't have a car. 2017. Catch a venture. I would go to 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 uh, uh, Social Google Crossing Mall. I would call her. Come. She would say, no, I don't have money for venture. I'm like, baby girl, Stop any venture, even if it's empty. Tell that venture to bring you to Crossing Mall. I will pay for all the seats, even though you were alone. You are special, baby girl. <laughs> she, 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 she stopped the venture. She came to Crossing. The venture brought her alone. I paid all the, for all the seats. You see, all the seats, even though nobody was, was sitting, I paid all the seats. I was very rich, people. <laughs> Now I'm poor. I was very rich. And then she would feel special. And then I would uh, say, which shop do you want to sh go to? And then she would say, um, no, it's fine. Any shop, Mr. Price. And I'm like, but I've had girls talk about legit. Do you want legit? She's like, yes, let's go to legit. Do you want true words? She's like, yes, let's go to true words. You know, at legit, she would swipe 8,000 rents. 8,000 rents, my ex. True, she would swipe 3,000 rents, anything she wanted. You know? 
And then when we go uh, to the house, when we go back to the house, obviously, I, I, I'm, I'm coach. That's when I started being coach. I would find an empty venture and hire it, the whole venture, and pay for all the seats. I didn't have a car by that time. <laughs> pay for all the seats. The venture will take us straight home. You know, I, 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 I used to, to treat her special. And then uh, one time she told me that she doesn't have a phone. Keep in mind, I'm doing these things because I felt like I owe it to her that I need to make her happy, even though I can't be in a relationship with her, you know, because I've promised her these things, but things didn't work out. So I owe it to her personally. I, not, not, not loving, not being, in a lo not being in love with a person doesn't mean that you no longer care about them. I, I, I used to care about her, you know, I used to care about her. At the same time, I was cautious because she gave me the world biggest heartbreak. But at the same time, that big heartbreak was the reason why I made it. So it's more like I thank her and I don't thank her. For my feelings, I don't thank her, but for my success, I thank her. So I felt guilty that I should take care of this girl. So she would come and say, uh, I don't have a phone, my phone, what, 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 what. And I'll say, you don't have a phone. She's like, yes. I'm like, let's go to crossing. I would get a venture again. Go with her. I remember when I was buying her a phone, we went to game. And then in game, at game, they've grouped cell phones. Like uh, from 500 to 1.5, 2,000 to 3,000, 4,000 to 10,000. Uh, I don't remember well. So I told her that, baby girl, from the beginning to the end, just choose any phone. She said, no, I, 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 I can't, uh, I can't do that. I don't, I, I don't, like, what if you don't afford it? I'm like, baby girl, choose a phone that you want here. There's nothing I cannot afford. <laughs> choose anything, anything you want, baby girl. This is for you. She chose, uh, it was, it was a uh, J7, I remember. It was a J7. That time, J7 was out at that time, I think. It was a Samsung J7. It was about 4.5, close to 5,000 rands. She took it and I swiped it just like that. Boom, cash. No installment. No rental. And then uh, now she has a phone. Now she has a phone because of me. She has clothes. When she doesn't have grocery, I buy a grocer. Everything. I used to take care of that girl. After breaking up with her. When she wants dick, I would give her dick. Free of charge. Now I sell. If you want my dick, you have to buy it. I'm selling it. it my dick is very unique now. I'm selling it. She used to get it for free. You see, this girl was special. You guys, hey, you guys don't understand. <laughs> you guys don't understand. Now, uh, time went by. She got a boyfriend, right? When she got a boyfriend, um, we were still uh, hanging out, talking and all that, right? She told me about it. She said, you said I'm allowed to have a boyfriend, right? And I was like, yeah. She's like, you know, sometimes I know you treat me good and all that, but I just want to have that title relationship. So I've managed to find myself a boyfriend, but I don't love him. I just have him as a boyfriend, Jay. And I'm like, okay, it's fine, baby girl. You can have a boyfriend. I don't have a problem with that. I don't mind, you know. And would go to, to spare. Spare was a big deal at that time in my life. Like going to spare was a big deal at that time in my life. This time, currently, I have a restaurant inside my house. I don't need to go to any restaurant. Anything that you eat out there, I can have it prepared for me, specifically in my house. I don't need to leave anymore. So spare was a big deal. So when we go to spare and I would look at the phone that I bought her, on the phone that I bought her, she put herself and that stupid boyfriend you see, woman, she put another man on a phone that I've bought her. 
Yet still, instead of me having jealous or getting mad, I was genuinely happy for her. Genuinely happy for her. But that nigger, he was, he was a broke nigger. I don't know about now. The, that's what she told me, by the way. I'm not calling the nigger broke. That's what she told me, that the boyfriend is broke. That means the boyfriend is actually broke. So the nigger was broke. He was unable to, to, to help the girl there and there. And I used to help her a lot, which takes me back to reality. Which takes me... That's, that's what's happening right now. Broke niggers. Your girlfriends are getting eaten out there by people with money. You just don't know about it. Your girlfriends are getting eaten out there. Stop being in love, broke nigga. If you are broke, pause a bit with love. I'm telling you. Okay, it's fine. You don't want to listen. Continue with your love. Continue. Now, uh, I've, I've also decided that I want to get a woman. I want to be in a relationship as well. Right? Keep in mind, me and this girl, we are good. She has a boyfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. Whatever she needs financially, I'm there for her. From schoolwork, everything, I'm there for her. Clothes, phones, everything. She has a boyfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have a problem with that. Now, I want to get a girlfriend for myself. That's where the problem started. That is where the problem started. When I wanted to get a girlfriend for myself. So what happened was that I met this beautiful lady. You see money, ne? A money will give you a beautiful people. Yes, sis. Ye the yellow ones. Yeah? Money. Money will give you a beautiful woman. A woman whom you would never thought you would date in your life. And which is true. When you are poor, you would never date such woman. Never. But you have, when you have money, you can date them. And it's not a big deal. It's nothing. It's like we're used to it. You know? Uh, I, I found uh, a yellow bone. Beautiful lady. Beautiful lady. And the first thing that I did, first thing that I did was, uh, I see people who are commenting, saying it's Banbani. It's nobody you know. You don't know her. Our relationship was never public. You don't know her. I will get to the part of people you know. Don't worry. Relax, people. Relax. You don't know her. So I was like, wow, this girl is so beautiful. You see, do, do you know women who are working at Truets? Have you seen certain type of women who are working at Truets? Ne? When you are paying at Truets, uh, that woman, when you look at her, you are, all you can see, it's a doll. She was like that, a doll. And I was like, eh, hey, dating a yellow bone. Because the one who had me, she was black as fuck, but I loved her anyway. She was black as fuck. Very, very black. Very dark. Very, very dark. So that was my first time dating a yellow woman. I was like, yeah, me, 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 this girl. And I've seen it that, oh, fuck, money, money runs the world. And don't get me wrong. I did not get this girl because of money in terms of me having to splash money to get her. No, I personally, I have an interesting personality, right? That's what I... Uh, uh, that's how I've managed to get her. But it's it's money makes everything simple. Even how we met, if I didn't have money, uh, like y y you understand how how we met, money played an important role. You can't meet people if you are always in the house. But if you have money to go to go to Gold Rush City, to go to where, 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 you, you can always meet new people. You know, it's, it's having, it's affordability, affordability. So I was, okay, it's me, da. Keep in mind, I've never dated a yellow bone. That was my first time dating a yellow bone. I've had stories that 
Hey, yellow bones, they are crazy. Yellow bones, I didn't care at that time, you know. I was like, let, let us, me and this girl, give it a try. First time, our first date, official date, I took her to Durban. You, you see, guys, now I'm very romantic. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very, very romantic. The only problem now is that I no longer have time. That time, I, I had time. But now I no longer have time. So that's why I can't take out my full romance spirit. But I'm, I'm very romantic. <laughs> I took her to Durban, right? I took her to Durban. Uh, when you go to Durban, with a flight, by the way. We took an Uber, went to the airport. Uh, we took a flight to Durban. That was my first time being in a flight. First time in my life. First time, we went to Durban. When we got to Durban, um, we booked at a hotel, an expensive hotel. Then uh, we were walking around the beach, holding hands. You, 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 you get me? I was very, very romantic. Very. Would hold. Then the, in Durban, there's these things. There's these things whereby there's a guy who's holding this. I don't know what they call it. It's like kachibani, so in my language. He goes around running and then a couple sits in there. You've seen those things in movies, I'm sure. So we used to sit there and then this guy would ride us, showing around, showing us around Deben and all that. So those guys, they, they, they charge like from taking you from point A to point B. So I told that guy that, Chief, today you are working for me and my woman. Whatever amount of money you're making in, if you are making 1000 in a day, I will pay you times three. Don't worry. I'm doing this for my woman. You see, I'm very romantic. Very. So, so, so it was lovely. You know, it was lovely. Now, the lady, uh, took pictures. You know, girls and pictures. She took pictures and she posted them. Right? She posted them. And I also took some, but I posted after. So the news, you, you see Facebook, when a person posts something and you like it or you comment on it, it's going to tell your friends that you've liked or commented on another person's photo. So I think I've liked it or something. So that ex of mine, X slash what what of mine, she has seen it. And... At that time, oh yeah, I remember. Just before I went to Devon with this girl, I've actually broken up with her. Yeah, yeah. In terms of uh, us having any sexual activities, I've told her that no more. But I, I don't mind helping her. Like when she needs uh, important school stuff and all that, I'll, I'll still be there for her, I remember. Yeah, so she has seen the pictures and she called me. I didn't answer. She called me almost like 92 times when I was in Deben. I didn't answer any of her calls. Then when we went back to Gauteng, uh, I've called her and I'm like, I've seen your missed calls. Sorry, I was at a vacation. Hey, the girl went crazy. She went crazy. She's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, yeah, dude, I mean, you and I are done, you know? You have a boyfriend and I've, I had to find someone. So I found someone, you know, you and I are done. Hey, she didn't buy it. So our relationship went on social media. I was starting to be famous a bit. Uh, and and, and, and I, I love to give credit where it's due. You see this account, you see this Forex broker account that you see right now. It was created by this girl. So Horaware Forest Broker Killer account might have it was actually created in 2017. This account, you see this account, it was actually created by her because uh, she was an Instagram person. I didn't want Instagram. So credit to her because now I have almost 269,000 uh, followers. She's the first person who created uh, the account 
for me i didn't know how to create an account on instagram uh, i i didn't care about instagram so yeah credit to her all thanks to her